Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to build the house from Breadwinners. So we're going to be getting into this right now. As you guys know, the house from the you know the actual show has the like you know the actual base that holds up the house, but obviously it goes up super super high and is connected to like a big like you know like you know it's like it's like a warehouse type thing. So I didn't want to do all of that simply because it'd be way too big of a project for the average person to want to get into. So I decided just to make it like kind of a little bit smaller like this. So you kind of get the same effect, but it's a little bit shorter to the ground, so you can actually use it in Minecraft if you want to. Um, but anyway, let's get into it right now. So for this build, you're going to need blue wool, uh, block of quartz, brown stained clay, uh, acacia wood, or acacia planks, ice, and then also some red wool. So we're going to get into this right now. So right now, we're just going to be needing the blue wool and the block of quartz. So let's get started. Okay, so for the base, what we're going to do is we're actually going to be working around this circle. But I know sometimes it's a little bit hard to follow when I do these circles because I just know it's, just, it's a little bit complicated going diagonal and stuff so much. Um, so if you want to pause the video here and just copy it based off of this, you guys can do this. We're basically going around that entire circle a total of six times with the block of quartz. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like this stuff for the people that do want to watch it like this. So we're going to start with a row of a total of five block of quartz. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go diagonal and to the right one. So one and then diagonal one or right one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go up one, diagonal one, and then up one. Just like that. Then we're going to diagonal one. And then up a total of four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and I'll back up to make sure you guys have that. So essentially what we just did was a row of five, then diagonal two, diagonal up two, then diagonal just like this. It's really hard to explain. That's why I hate doing circular builds. But you guys can see what I did there. All right, now the next one, we're going to go turn our bodies this way. And we're going to go diagonal. And we're going to go to the right two, one, two. Then we're going to go diagonal again. And then up one, two, one, two. Then we're going to go diagonal, and then to the right, a total, or left total of five. One, two, three, four, five. Then diagonal to the left two. One, two. Then diagonal down two. One, two. Then diagonal down a total of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then diagonal right, and then down two. So one, two. Then diagonal right into the right two. One, two. And again, I'll back up so you guys take a look at this whole thing. It's a little bit easier to see the actual blocks with block of quartz. And you guys can pause it if you need to because I know the circles are a little bit hard to follow. Okay? And then once you've done this, what we're going to do is we're going to go around this whole thing a total of four times. Or a total of five times, actually. Five more times. So go around this whole thing five times. I'm going to skip ahead for this, but go ahead and pause the video real quick. And again, just go around the entire thing and just make this whole circle about a total of five, uh, six blocks high. So we already have one, but we're going to add five to what we currently have to make it a total of six. All right? So go ahead and do that. Okay, so on the next one we're going to do, now that you have it this way, it's total, it should be a total of six high with the block of quartz. You're going to go around it one more time with a blue wool. So just go around the exact same way we just did what we just did, but with blue wool this time. I'm not going to skip ahead for this part just because, you know, no point really. <laughs> it's going to take a couple seconds. All right, and then once you've done this, what we're going to do is do it again with blue wool, but only on these like uh, these five wide parts, which are the ends over here. We're going to go ahead and do block of quartz. It's like this. So we're going to do one block of quartz. Then one blue wool, then one block of quartz, then one blue wool, then one block of quartz, and then these entire side pieces are just gonna be regular blue. And then when we get to another like five uh, long, just like this, the same way we did the front one. Block of quartz, blue, block of quartz, blue, block of quartz, and then blue again the rest of the way. And that's how we just do it the rest of the way. So you can just go ahead and do all of them like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this real quick uh, with you guys now. So yeah, it's just pretty much it. It's not really that complicated. I just hate doing circular builds. I'm not. That, that's honestly one of my weak points. I'm not that good at making. It's not that I'm good bad at making circular builds. It's I'm bad at explaining them. <laughs> that's my biggest issue. So then once you've done with that, just go ahead and do it again with the blue wool. So yeah, that's why I, I I'm like I said I can build circular stuff like on my own time and I'm really good at it. Like I'm you know well, as good as anybody can be at it. But I just think it's like explaining circular builds is just so freaking annoying sometimes just because it's like hard to explain a diagonal block i don't know it's kind of hard maybe it's just me but it just feels hard to explain sometimes okay and then once you've done that we're gonna go ahead and do it again one more time with blue wool so you want to be two rows above those block of quartz we did all right so that's one we just did now it's gonna be one more above that all right and then once you have it double layered just like this what you want to do is go to all of these five wide ones and bring it out a total of two blocks so just like this so one two and then the same thing on this one one two and this is just the easy way to make the connections because there's gonna be a layer that we're gonna be extending out here now but um, this is just the easiest way to connect them all so then this last back one is finish it up 
Okay, now go to the front one, whichever that may be, as <laughs> this is my front one. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect this one to that one. The way we're going to do this is you're just going to basically go in a row of two. So just basically going like, it's hard to explain, it really is, but you're just going to be going wrapping around this corner twice. So just like this. And then do it again. All right, so just like that. Not really that complicated, it's just hard to explain. So now we're going to be going around wrapping around this corner. And then wrap it around it again. And that one I made look a little more complicated than it really is. I'll do this one a little bit more smoothly so you can see. It's just like this. Just wrapping around the corner. Then do it one more time. Alright, that's another one. Then do this one. Alright, so that's our first one, so it should look just like this, and again, I'll go a little high view so you guys can take a look at it and you guys can pause it if you need to. So that's what this one should look like. And then once you've done this, what we're going to do is we're going to go around this one a total of two times. So it'll be a total of three high, but we're going to add two to what we currently have here. Alright, so again, I'm going to skip ahead in the video just because this is going to take a little bit of time, but just go ahead and pause the video and go around this thing two more times. Okay, so now you should have this, and once you've done this part, this last part we have to do is a platform. Once we've actually done that, it's super easy from here because it's just, this is the hardest part to be honest. So what we're going to do is on the front right here, we're going to go to this second little notch right here, which is like the second little, you know, turn on the, um, you know, the circle. And what we're going to do is on this right block right here, we're going to add one and we're going to come out a total of th five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And on this fifth block, we're going to go to the left, a total of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it should match up perfectly with the other sides, you know, the corresponding, like, you know, side of the circle. And then go to remove all these blocks that connected to it. Then once we've done that, I was on either side, it really doesn't matter. We're going to go to the diagonal, a total of eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And on the eighth block, we're going to go to the left, a total of seven, or eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight and again it should match up with the corresponding side and this side should match up with that side just like this on the ends right here of these ones and that's how you know you're doing it right and on this one again we're gonna do the same thing go diagonal total of eight so one two three four five six seven and eight and then on the eighth one make sure it's matching up with that little side piece right here we're gonna go ahead and add another eight blocks so one two three four, five, six, seven, eight. And then again, we're going to diagonal eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And it matches up. And now we're going to go ahead and add eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And to finish this up, do another diagonal eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this would have been eight right here, but we already did that one. So that's what it should look like now. Now that we've done this, just go ahead and get some blue wool and you're gonna fill in this entire thing. Now that I'm gonna skip ahead for because it'll take a little bit of time, but you're just gonna get the blue wool and fill in all of this whole circle. So the whole thing we just added, you're just gonna fill in completely, okay? I recommend using a swiftness potion to make you move, well, you know, swiftly. So I definitely recommend you use that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead in the video, but go ahead and pause and do this real quick. Okay, so now this is the platform you should have. So give yourself a round of applause because that was the hardest part was get through that whole, you know, cluster thing that's like a big circle a cluster of circles that's what i'm sorry i'm gonna call it a cluster of circles hashtag cluster of circles so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually add the little frame that goes around our last little you know kind of circles <laughs> what we're gonna do is actually go on the uh, ends right here the not the front ones only the uh, side ends real quick these little flat bases and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up a total of four blocks so one two three four and then from this one, we're going to go every three blocks and do that exact same thing. I'm trying to look over that one to make sure it's the same. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so one, two, three. And on the fourth block, do the same thing. And then three, you know, spacing of three. And you're just going to do that the whole way through. I'm going to go ahead and do it with you guys. But a spacing of three, you're just going to make sure there's a spacing of three and just keep doing that. And that's pretty much all we have to do until we get to the uh, you know the other side. And we're not going to do it to the front just because that's the way the house is. It's not like, oh, it's only on the sides for whatever reason. Just because I think it's, you know, so they can get into the house, obviously. All right. And then another one here. I'm just rambling because I'm trying to focus at the same time. 
<laughs> and then right here. Actually, not there. We stop right here. And then what I want you guys to do is go ahead and go like follow along on the sides right here with um, two circle or two um, blocks diagonal. And do the same thing on this one. Two diagonal. And then on the rest of them, we're just going to go ahead and connect it as if you're matching it up with the circle right below it. So you're just going to continue to look down and match it up with the circle just to add that top bar. And again, I'm not going to skip ahead for during this part just because in case, you know, um, you know, some people may be able to do this like no problem and it's like, you know, they don't even need me to be talking right now. But for the people that, you know, have a little bit more trouble, I want them to be able to at least, you know, to pause the video and be able to look at what I'm doing if they don't understand what I'm saying. All right, and then here, and then bring it all the way across, and boom, this is what you should have right now. And I'll back up again so you guys take a look and compare it to yours. This is what everything should look like now. All right, so now we are done with that part. Let's just go ahead and add a little door to get this out of the way. Right here in the front, remove these two blocks that are in the center, and that's your door area. And then now we're going to go ahead and add the house, which is actually the easiest thing compared to the you know that cluster of circles. All right, so let's get started on that. Okay, so for the house, we're going to need to use the brown stained clay, the acacia wood, and we're also going to need the ice and the red wool, and we're also going to need some block of quartz. So what we're going to do to position it, though, is right here on the third little notch, so if you're looking at it from the side right here, there's this notch, this notch, then this notch. This third notch right here, you're going to go in a total of three. So it's one, two, and then three. On here it is the block we're going to be starting on. Okay, so right here, you're going to place one brown stained clay. All right, let me back up real quick and change my body position. All right, so then from right here, what you're going to do is go ahead and do a row of four acacia planks. So one, two, three, four. And then you're going to do one brown stained clay. Then there's going to be a spacing of four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth block, it's going to be a brown stained clay. Then it's going to be a total of three acacia wood. One, two, three. Then one brown stained clay. And you should have matched up like exactly, like pretty much the again, corresponding side on the third notch and then three blocks in. So one, two, and then this would be the third one. All right, so I got mine right. So make sure this is just like that. And we're gonna continue on the rest of the way. So the next row is gonna be one brown stained clay. Then it's gonna be four acacia wood planks. One, two, three, four. Then a one brown stained clay. Then a spacing of four again. And then it's gonna be one brown stained clay, three acacia wood planks, and then one brown stained clay. And then the next row is going to be all brown stained clay until you get to the space. So it's just basically going to be exactly these, these same things we've just done. Just add a row of brown stained clay. Because there's going to be a spacing right here for a while. All right. And then the next row is going to be just like this. It's going to be one brown stained clay, four acacia wood planks, one, two, three, four, one brown stained clay, then another spacing of four. Like I said, there's going to be a spacing of four here for quite a bit. And then it's going to be one brown stained clay three acacia wood, one, two, three, then one brown stained clay. Then the next row is going to be one brown stained clay, one acacia plank, two ice, one, two, then a one acacia plank, then a one brown stained clay, then another spacing, and then a one brown stained clay, three acacia planks, one, two, three, then a one brown stained clay. Then the next row is going to be one brown stained clay, one acacia plank, two ice, one, two, one acacia plank, then a one brown stained clay. Then again, our spacing is going to be there. The next row is going to be one brown stained clay, three acacia planks, then a one brown stained clay. This, this side is pretty much the, the, you know, very repetitive on that side. And the next row is going to be one brown stained clay, four acacia planks, one, two, three, four, then a one brown stained clay. And then it's going to be a spacing yet again. And then our one brown stained clay, three acacia planks, and then one brown stained clay. All right, and then our next row actually changes up here a little bit, guys. So the next row is going to be one brown stained clay, four acacia planks, one, two, three, four. Then it's going to be a total of six brown stained clay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's going to be back to three acacia planks, <laughs> one, two, three, and then one brown stained clay. And then the next row is a full row of brown stained clay, a really easy row. All right. And then our next row is going to be one brown stained clay. Then it's going to be a total of five acacia planks. One, two, three, four, five. And then it's going to be three of the, um, what are they called? Three of the, um, I forget what the blocks are called. Brown stained clay. One, two, three. Then it's going to be a total of five acacia planks. One, two, three, four, five. Then a one brown stained clay. Then the next row is going to be uh, one brown stained clay. 
four acacia planks, one, two, three, four, one brown stained clay. Then it's going to be a total of three acacia planks, one, two, three, and then one brown stained clay. Then three acacia or four acacia planks, one, two, three, four, then a one brown stained clay. All right, then this next row is going to be a little bit different. I'll back up so you guys can make sure you guys are on track. Just take a look at yours and compare it to mine. And again, you guys can pause it in order to take a look at yours to compare it or whatever you need to do. All right, let's continue on now. All right, so the next row is going to be in one, one brown stained clay, two acacia planks, one, two, one brown stained clay. Then it should be a total of five acacia planks, one, two, three, four, five, then a one brown stained clay, then two acacia planks, one, two, then a one brown stained clay. All right, and then our next row is gonna be the same thing. We're gonna go in one, and then it's gonna be two brown stained clay, one, two. Then it's gonna be one acacia plank, or I'm sorry, two acacia planks. Then it's gonna be a acacia stair. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you guys about that in your inventory. One acacia wood stair, right here. All right, then it's gonna be a spacing of one right here. Then it's gonna be another acacia stair that's this way. All right, because this is gonna be the circle right here, so that's what it should have. And then it's gonna be two acacia planks, one, two. Then one brown stain or two brown stain clay. One, two. All right, now I'll back up again, take a look at that. All right, our next row is going to be going in one. It's going to be one brown stain clay, two acacia planks. One, two. Then a spacing of th uh, three, technically, yeah, three. Spacing of three. Then two acacia planks. Then a one brown stain clay. All right, let's do the next row. And then our next row, we're going to go in one yet again. It's going to be one brown stain clay one acacia plank and then one upside down stairs going this way okay and then it's going to be or is it yeah it is okay just making sure and then it's going to be um right here it's going to be basically a space actually and then it's going to be another upside down stair so what you can do for that is just place an acacia plank there and then place upside down stair on it like that all right and just going to leave that like that it's going to be open for now and then next to that stair is going to be the acacia plank and then one more acacia plank or right, one more brown wool. I'm sorry, I'm going crazy here. Brown wool. I'll back up, take a look at that, because I know that may have been confusing. So essentially that row was one brown wool, one acacia plank, an upside down stair, a space, an upside down stair, acacia plank, and then a brown wool. Okay? Then the next row, row we're going to go in one yet again. It's going to be a brown uh, brown stained clay, three acacia planks, one, two, three, then a brown stained clay. Next row is a little bit different. We're going to be going that out one, but this way. So it's going to be out this way. One brown stained clay. Then it's going to be a total of five acacia planks. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one out again of the brown stained clay. And then the rest of the way, we're going to be just going with acacia planks just by going in one. So go in one brown stained clay. Then go a total of three acacia planks. One, two, three. Then one brown stained clay. Next row, same thing. Go in one, one brown stained clay. One acacia plank, one brown stained clay. Then on top, one brown stained clay. All right, and that's our front here. So now we've done the front. Trust me, guys, it's super simple from here. And not that, that that was easy, but it was just like you know, a lot of changing blocks. The front, the back's a lot easier, so they're just pretty much copying. So that's what you should have right now, though. Okay. Now what I want you guys to do is go behind the door real quick. Just kind of go one block into this like opening we made right here, and you're gonna do two rows of block of quartz. One, two. Then you're going to do one block of quartz, one ice, two block of quartz. Then one block of quartz, one ice, two block of quartz. Then this one's gonna be two block of quartz one ice, one block of quartz. Then this one's gonna be one, two block of quartz, one ice, one block of quartz. Then the final row is gonna be a full block of quartz. All right, perfect. So this is what everything should look like. This is our front here. Now we're gonna do the sides real quick and then we're gonna do the back and then we'll add the roofing. So let's do the sides real quick. Okay, so the sides are gonna work like this. We're on the right side right now. You're gonna get your acacia planks out and you're gonna go back a total of nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then a one brown stained clay, just like that. All right, perfect. Next row is gonna be the exact same thing. So I'm just go ahead and do that again. The next row is gonna be a full row of brown stained clay. All right. Next row, another row of nine acacia planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then one brown stained clay. Next row is gonna be one uh, acacia plank. And then it's gonna be brown stained clay all the way until we get, oh, I'll just go ahead and count it out for you guys. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven right here. Then a one acacia plank, then one brown stained clay. Then the next row is gonna be the same thing, but with ice instead of the brown stained clay. So it's gonna be one acacia plank, seven ice, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then a one acacia plank, then a one brown stained clay. Next row, the exact same thing. 
Oops, not like that. <laughs> not even following my own directions. All right, so then right here. And then the next row is going to be one acacia plank. Then it's going to be seven brown stained clay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one acacia plank. And then one brown stained clay. Then the next row is going to be a full row of acacia planks almost. It's going to be pretty much nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one brown stained clay. And then the next two rows is going to be just brown stained clay. Boom, just like that. The, the, the thing about these builds is like some of these builds are really, really like, you know, painful in some sense. It's like the brown brown and acacia plane just going back between those two blocks. But I really love about building is just the final product. You know, like it makes everything worth it just looking at it when it's finished. Okay, so now we just have to do the left side over here real quick. And for the left side, literally all I'm doing is just copying what I see on the other side over there. So you don't have to really, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and do it with you guys in case anybody wants to watch me. Um, but you, again, I'm just literally looking straight ahead and copying that side. So that's what you guys should be doing right now as well. And if you need any trouble, you know, there's always the other side <laughs> that you can look at. So it's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. Sorry for rambling. I'm, again, I'm trying to focus, but yeah, maintain the commentating. <laughs> it's not very successful. All right. No, I messed up trying to, you know, keep up. All right. And then here... I don't know, I feel like it's weird, this awkward silence, so I just try and talk even though I'm trying to focus. Alright, and then two more rows of brown wool, or brown stained clay, just like that. Okay, so now we gotta do the back real quick, so let's get started on that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by connecting the back, the, you know, the two sides with the row of acacia planks, just like that. Just that, and then do another one, so make it too high. Then on top of that, you're gonna do a full row of brown stained clay. Then after that, you're going to do a full row of acacia planks. Then after that, it's going to be one acacia plank. Then it's going to be a total of, I think, one, two, three. I'm sorry, I actually don't know on this one. I think it's actually four. So four uh, ice, we'll find out in a second. If I'm wrong, I, I won't put it in the video. So four ice, and then we're going to do three acacia planks. One, two, three. Then four ice. One, two, three, four. Then one acacia plank. Okay, I was right, cool. So we'll keep that in the video. <laughs> I actually don't use a lot of notes, so I had to try to remember a lot of this stuff, and I was surprised I remembered that. So the next one's gonna be one acacia plank, then it's gonna be four ice, one, two, three, four. Three acacia planks, one, two, three. Four ice, one, two, three, four. Then one acacia plank. Next row, the exact same thing. But yeah, I don't usually keep notes. I think I've said that if you guys watch a lot of my videos, I don't really, I mean, I have like, sometimes I have notes if it's like I need them. But um, on this video, I didn't really use very many notes except for the base getting it started. All right, and then on top of this, do a full row of acacia planks. Then a full row of brown stained clay. And then now what we're doing is literally copying that side. So just go ahead and look right ahead over there and just copy what you see over there. Block for block. And again, I'm not going to skip ahead for this part just because, like I said, I don't like to skip ahead in parts like this where it could be easily confused just because... You never know, you know, some people, you know, because I know some people, you know, they're like, you know, why don't you just skip ahead for like the parts like, you know, where we're just copying their side. But it's because some people, they don't, you know, they have more trouble than other people. So I make it to where even if you don't understand what you're supposed to do by looking over there, you can just um, at least just watch the video, you know, and play it and replay it and play it in slow motion, whatever you need to do to get through it. But again, you know, for those who get it, you can go, feel free to skip ahead of me. You know, I mean, if you feel like if you already have this down, then feel free to, you know, fast forward a little bit. It's not, it's not a problem whatsoever. But this is just for the people that actually, you know, may need the extra help. All right, and then I'm gonna do like this. And then again, we have to leave that space there. So we're just gonna go ahead and make this little, you know, temporary space there. And then bring it out. Don't forget to bring it out, guys. And I like to, to be honest, actually, I don't really ever do it in rows like that. I like to do the frame of the house first, but it's easier in tutorials to just go row by row. So I'm just going to fill all of this in with the, uh, the, the acacia planks now. All right, and now that we have done that, guys, now we have to do what is essentially the easiest part, really. Um, what you're going to do is really, before we get that done, just to finish up everything, go ahead and behind these circles we made, get some ice and just layer it behind it like this. I know that kind of looks awkward, but that's the only way to get like a circular looking window, to be honest. It's just the way it works. And you only need to have it actually within that range, so you can remove all these side ones. And then do the same thing on this side. 
because obviously you know you can't put windows on stairs but this way it actually looks circular from the outside and then it asks also you know it actually has a window in it so I think it's a good idea and then next what we have to do guys we're going to get the roof and what we're going to do for that is using red wool so what you're going to do is starting right here on this row right here on the side you are get the red wool and you're going to take this along the entire thing and you're going to make sure you're coming out one block and then you're going to do that on all of these rows just like this all the way through I'm going to go ahead and do this one I'm not going to skip ahead for this either just because or maybe I'll just do the sides. I'm just gonna do the sides so you guys can see exactly where I'm placing the blocks, and then you guys can just I'm gonna skip ahead for the actual filling it in. So we're going along all of these blocks that you guys see me doing. But we're basically taking them all the way back until it's the same exact way on that side to so where you're off one. But I'll just do all of the side blocks so that way you guys can see. Alright, and let's do the same thing on this side. Putting all of showing you guys again. You guys should be filling them in completely, but I'm just showing you guys where you're going to be placing them in case you need to see. You know, like, hey, should I place one here? Should I place one here? Um, you're going to place them everywhere, pretty much. <laughs> so let's go along them, and then here, and then here, 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 and here. Okay, now I'm going to fill all of these in, but you guys should know where to place them all now. So let me go ahead and fill all these in, and I'm going to skip ahead in the video. But if you haven't finished that yet, which you probably haven't if you're doing it in real time, um, definitely fill them in right now. Okay? And again, the swiftness is always your, your friend. It's really good. Anyway, just go ahead and keep going. Okay, guys. So once you've added the roof, that's actually all there is to it. We've actually finished it. Now all you have to do is you didn't add... For me, I didn't add a door on the top part. All I did is add a door on the bottom part. I'll show you my example one. I just added a... You know, I did the floor with the wood planks, and I made a ladder that went straight up. And then inside here, I didn't do anything, but... If you guys would prefer to, you can just decorate any you guys want. I decided to put like you know some wool behind the windows to make the windows pop a little bit more and stuff. Uh, but actually, is you can put like a storage room right here. You can put the whole downstairs to be, like a guest house, I guess you can mean if you wanted to, or like whatever you want to do. But I just think there's a lot of room in this thing to do whatever you really want to. Like normally, a lot of the houses are really small because you know they just don't really have like you know like some houses are just small, like, you know the ones I make because they have to be for you know to look more like the house than anything. But this one looks like it and it has a lot of room. So I think it's a really good choice for any of the houses. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new here, please subscribe. I do loads of crazy Minecraft houses all the time. We have the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. We have the Loud House, as you can see here. We have Bob's Burgers. We've done Sanjay and Craig, uh, Amazing World of Gumball, Steven, the Universe. Um, what else have we done? Courage the Cowardly Dog, Invader Zim, um, Wiggy Bear Bears, um, Teen Titans Go. I've done a lot of them. Just go look at the playlist. I'll put a link to the playlist down below, and that'll have all the cartoon houses we've done so far. I did the Fairly Odd Parents, Powerpuff Girls, um, the Shell Razor from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Clarence. Done a lot. So definitely subscribe if you're new here, because we do a cartoon house every single Wednesday, along with other Minecraft content that comes out throughout the week. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.